Hey what's up welcome to the exciting tutorial series how to create an e-commerce website from scratch and till now we had done with our view card dot php and uh, product adding so now it's time comes to the shipping checkout and order such kind of thing so now we are first of all we are seeing the proceed to checkout button so everyone can check out or he can go continue shopping so open up your view card dot php and on the top we are having our that's yes, these two buttons continue shopping and checkout and the checkout button we are redirecting to shipping dot php shipping dot php we are having all the product details and all the cart item details into the session card so now we are checking and redirecting to shipping dot php so let's open up this file shipping dot php and now we got this file shipping.php so this is code if it says submit and first of all we have included the connection file and now we are selecting the member select member from select a star from table member where id is equal to session id we are checking which user is just logged in we are selecting the details of the user just to go to the file shipping.php and we are selecting which user is just logged in and we are checking select a star from tbl member and where user id is session id we are selecting fetching everything and now we are checking if not it said post submit if we the submit is not there then we are fetching the user id and just taking the user details just like address and country id and all inside these variables and now uh, in session in session shipping details we are setting up array first name is equal to this and last name is equal to this and email is equal to we are setting session for shipping details uh, the session shipping details array we had made session dollar underscore session shipping details then the ar inside array every each and every details is there of users just like state and all this is for the case if we haven't saved the user and such like that and now this is the validation part and below that the style part we are minimizing and now we are checking we had created a basic form with all the fields first name and uh, other things we have just created the name like this just like you can see every detail we have created a basic form just like country zip code state city and all and here inside the session we are having the uh, product detail which we fetch down from here just uh, like we are having this men's heavyweight t-shirt here and whenever we go to product check out we are go getting this t-shirt and this item into our cart here so the cost the total cost and every details we are having here and the all shipping types like standard shipping premium shipping express shipping just like that we are having here and now the payment method second thing is payment method so now till then we had we are having a form which is just uh, register and action is null and means the same file and it is a validation validate form uh, rest things are just a basic form you are having every details from the of the user from the session just like that if the user is logged in else we will ask to user the logged in and this is for country list you can see here uh, at the bottom and after country list after country list we are having some code here for Hmm. Here we are having, we are choosing a select a star from table shipping type where ID is 1 and ID is 2 and ID is 3. We have fetched down every detail and now we are use, uh, we have took inside three variables just like select, standard, premium and express. And we had inputted uh, these all radio boxes like standard shipping. If we choose this shipping we will increase the cost by $7. If premium shipping then we will increase it by $16. And if if express shipping then we will include uh, 41 dollar so you can make as much types of shipping as much you want you just have to save in uh, all these details into the back as we had set it down our shipping status shipping cost just like that action and delivery time and price and all all things we have set it down here inside the table so now uh, we are just fetching all the details and showing all the details here in the 
radio box and on click we are calling the show check and below that the price and the other things so this is how we had just created this um, form basic form and now when you go to the um, continue payment then you have to fill must fill all the details here just like uh, organization and position and shipping address and then country just like that only you have to pick up the right country and then you have to choose the standard shipping or any shipping you can choose now just to mm, you have to validate your phone number because in India you have to go only 10 digits phone number now we have to go mm, to continue to payment method so we had uh, get all the details and now we are getting to the file payment method dot php so here you have to check payment method dot php we are choosing the payment method here so we are checking if uh, we got the flag uh, just like that Just first of all a validation form a big validation form for our fields and then the style form now we are checking uh, more form is there with three radio boxes uh, payment dash method dot php and we are choosing with a paypal and all we are just showing the details here and on the sidebar card you have to open this file sidebar card this one is our file the sidebar underscore card dot php so we are showing every detail here just like the mm, card detail and every detail we are showing here and now in the sidebar card just like that the total card price and we are checking the product and product price just like that we are printing here so now when you click here choose paypal like the payment gateway you have choose and basic form is there with three drop downs in the payment method we are having three drop downs and a submit buttons with uh, the name payment method and value is check and value is paypal and just like that we are having like value is equal to paypal and just uh, these about two is sure to disable these are disabled from back end so we are only using the paypal payment gateway here so now we have choose the paypal and you are sub clicking this review order information so when you click on the review order information we are this is just to review your order so do, uh, on submitting the form we are checking dollar underscore session shipping details array and payment method we are putting the post payment method means it is paypal we are putting the paypal here and we are uh, reviewing to file order review dot php here the user uh, all the information from the session we have fetched down just like we had put it the everything inside the an array so now we are fetching the details back just you can see here a form and then uh, we are checking for session everything we are having inside session like shipping details first name shipping details last name so when we had done the our file we had inserted all the details inside the session here shipping details phone so inside the value we are printing each and every detail of user from the session just like that every detail we had fetched and the paper size and just like this is used to show the user to submit your order so here we are having our costing and price so when you click uh, when you submit on this part just like if it's set for submit when you click on the submit button details are already filled with you have to just uh, check the price of your product this is the product review and now here we are checking for if it said change values uh, we are checking if the if anyone is changing values or not so if it is change value then we are if change values is enable edit then we are checking uh, putting the all the values uh, from the session suppose if user changed the values here and uh, I changed it to something else something like that so it is not enabled yet just you have to click on the edit information you, if you click on the edit information then only it will be enabled just like that edit information edit, else it won't be enabled so now we are checking if uh, inside the post uh, change value is equal to enable edit then we are putting the 
ses we are modifying our array session shipping details and first name we are using the user first name all the form fields we are putting inside this array and if it is not enabled just we had put it all the information inside this array and now checking the shipping details user id and characters such like that we are making the order if we not is not set uh, user id and all we are making the order inside insight into tbl underscore order pending pending orders we are state making the insights into the pending order with the order date order number card details uh, status user cookie shipping details and the values we are getting from order date and session just like that and uh, this is for the case if user is not logged in and if user is logged in we are taking the user id of uh, the user and we are picking up all the details and in this case if user if we are getting the user into the session so we are just inserting the orders into the table and next we are going to make paypal redirect dot php we are sending redirecting the user to paypal redirect dot php with uh, we had stored all the information into our database whenever you click down here um, submit your order now so if we have sent it the all details here and we are redirecting to paypal redirect dot php so now we have to open the paypal redirect dot php and this is for paypal included so now till this tutorial we are done with the mm, payment method address and shipping part in last tutorial we will done with the payment and review section so thank you for watching this tutorial